the story of a 14-year-old artist and entrepreneur from the northwestern tip of Minnesota was one of our most viewed videos of 2022. And all those views fueled even more growth for Willow Larson. Tonight, a look back at her story and an update. Teenagers looking for work in fertile Minnesota have a few options. Coffee shop, the grocery store, babysitting. But you'll find Willow Larson's mug <laughs> at a business all her own. You're looking at Willow's product line, now available at 35 stores in Minnesota and North Dakota. Erskine, so there's a lot of fishing, and then the Erskine Water Carnival. A budding enterprise built on an observation. Care to drink your coffee from a Minneapolis mug and you'll find dozens, but... Nobody really had anything for small towns, so I decided to do these and people love them. Really love them. Thousands. Thousands sold. And two more. Yeah, these are orders. Equally impressive numbers. I'm 14, I'm going into ninth grade. None of which comes as a surprise yeah. to Willow's mom. She was probably four or five. I had a garage sale and instead of setting up a lemonade stand, Willow decided to set up an art stand. She had a little sign that says art sale. And I think she was selling her drawings for a dollar each. I drew that one. Willow continued drawing. I think this was the first portrait I did. And by age 12, made it even more clear. She has no plans to be a starving artist. The first one that I made. A cup. In the golf course. For Willow's hometown. Come on in guys. Jamie Paul, <laughs> owner of Fertile's Coffee and Flower Shop, wishes she could sell you. I'm actually sold out of our fertile mugs right now. While back across the street at Willow's parents' photo studio, Fertile's youngest entrepreneur is designing a mug for another town. I'm working on Bird Island right now. <laughs> more than 50 complete. They all contact me. With 15 more cities on a waiting list. They're selling like crazy in all these little gift shops and boutiques and stuff like that. Most of the stores that are selling them are 22 to $26. I have to heat this up first. When her contractor failed to meet her expectations, yes. Willow spent $2,000 of her profits to buy her own heat press. That one is a Polk County Fair. That's a zipper. I have to spend money to make money. She now has yes. a financial advisor. When she's done with high school, if she chooses to go to college, she should easily be able to pay for a good part of it herself, if not all of it. Yeah. <laughs> she also has her eye on a car. A sage green convertible bug. Yeah, she could buy one right now if she wanted to. Not that she could drive it at 14. I'll do my signature at the bottom. Remember her name, because she's going somewhere. I want to have them everywhere. To know Willow Larson is to picture success. Boyd Hooper, Carol Evan News, Fertile. Since that story was widely shared last summer, Willow has sold more than 10,000 additional mugs. She now offers more than 150 town designs available in more than 100 stores. Willow's dad, mom, and grandmother are on her payroll as she works to keep up with demand. She's also taken delivery of two new heat presses that each print five mugs at a time and is preparing to order a brand new SUV, more practical for deliveries than that VW bug. Of course, the ninth grader still needs a driver's license. She only recently turned 15. Love it. And check this out. Willow even designed these special land of 10,000 story mugs with drawings of some of Boyd's most memorable stories from over the years. And you can find them for sale on her website. We have a link to that at care11.com. I know that there is Emmett and Erling on here, Belle. Yes, One of I the saw famous of land of 10,000 stories. Isn't that cool? And there's the, the loon with the duck. Yep. <laughs> I remember that story. Uh, look at all those. That's just wonderful. Gosh, so talented. I love it.